So, I'm in the dark here, put the lights on. Sometimes uh, when your turn signal switch goes fast, and I'll show you. Watch this. Look at that. Looks pretty good. What happens when I put the headlights on? Take the headlights off. Put the headlights on. Fast. All the bulbs work on this truck. It's not the circuit board on the, uh, the tail lights. It's typical in these 8898 trucks. But watch this. See? I just touched the, uh, the turn signal lever slightly bit and it stopped it. Now it's blinking at its normal rate. So let's do it again. See? You just pick up on it and it'll stop. Turn the lights off. Turn the signal on. Put the signal on. Slow rate. Put the headlights on. Fast blinker. Pick up on the lever. Stops. Let's do it again. Signal on. Headlights on. Fast. Pick up on the lever. Stops it. So I'm thinking somewhere inside this column, and I wish I had my light, but I don't. In the column right here, there's your uh, signal switch. It's probably a bad spot on it. Could be burnt, could be a piece of uh, grease on it. That's causing, um, what the hell, it's changing the draw. So I guess, what is it, be, uh, no, it'd be lower resistance, I think, if a bulb was out. But yeah, it's screwing it up. Okay. Pick it up. Oops. Pick up on it. Stop. It's a sweet spot right in there. Then you can do whatever the hell you want with this lever. And it's fine. Let's pick up on it again. You hear it. Look. Stops. So I'm thinking. Oh, there it is right there again. Oh, no. Maybe I broke it. Did a bowl pop this time? I think it did. Oh, well. Now we get other problems, though. That's maybe my idea. It's not. See, it's that bulb again's out over there. Huh. So anyway, as you see, the bulb, this inside bulb, has a bad contact again. I fixed that last night. It was also out. Just took it out, put the bulb back in. That's fine. So, I don't know if that's that socket. I know that switch is messed up, too. It could be the socket as well. Or that bulb. So I'm going to go try to investigate. Well, another thing is, my April of 2008 battery, you probably see my YouTube video of it, way back on. He's starting and uh, shutting off the truck with my old starter. It started fast. This thing's gone. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's dead here. It doesn't hold the charge anymore. Every morning it's slow to crank. But, um... Take our uh, cornering, I mean, parking light out. Wait, if anyone has one of these things in good shape, please let me know. Mine has cracked edges. I really need a nice one that is not cracked. If you have one, I'll pay you for it. I even get both sides. That and headlights, too. I don't even care if they're faded. I clean them up. These things look awful. And look at the shine on them now. These things are like orange. So are they. But yeah, if you have them, let me know. Let me take that out now. Figure out what the hell this problem is, or this thing's going to the junkyard. Alright, I think I'm on to something. Maybe it's not the switch. Oh, I gotta play around these wires. This one stops blinking. I gotta pull on this blue wire over here. Slows it down. Maybe you got a bad connection in here. And this wiring harness down there is fucked up. Okay, that slows normal. That's normal. Super fast. Twist it around. Play around this blue wire again. Look real bad and it turns off. Push it down. Goes back on. Push it up. No. I can't really say when it stops working or not. I just sound like an idiot. But yeah, we get, I guess this is our problem, this connector perhaps, not the freaking signal switch, you know. Huh. Strange. It's still on hyper fast signal. It's good we get the battery charge hooked up now, be okay with the headlights on. 
So this is normal blinking rate. Super fast. Oh, that bulb's getting hot. But still though. What did this hit? Still though. I'll pick up on the thing. Slows it down. Why is that? That's what my thinking is. So that switch was never right. It never felt right on the left hand. Now I play with the wires all I want. I got nothing. Doesn't change. Maybe a two part problem? Maybe. I'm gonna try to figure this out. If I don't, I won't make a video. Alright, I really don't remember where I left off on this project, but I think we found a problem. Now it's kinda right on my thinking. There was a little dirt on those contacts on this uh the switch. So as it went to the left, it was all crap. Well, that little thing probably. See it move? Boom. Click. And that's GM for you. It's not like you ever drive a BMW or Mercedes and turn the uh, turn lever. You're like nothing. Clicks quiet. It's GM for you. Clunk, clunk. Clunk, clunk. Clunk, clunk. But yeah. We had uh, crap on these contacts over there. Crap on those contacts on the, uh, what is it, the right? Right was crappy, so was the left. So I clean all that crap up, plug it back in. You see, they had to disconnect your little switch right there and connect you that clips on that little bracket right there in the column. So I gotta put that back in the right spot. So I just unclipped that, fished it up, out and up a little bit, so it was hanging like over here, and I greased my bearing again. So you got play. If anyone knows how to replace one, oh shit. I don't know how to replace one of these bearings. Let me know, because this is a standard column. So basically it just unbolts, there's like four bolts. You take an ignition column, you can take like this piece where it's joined right here out. And then that might have to be pressed out where it just slides out, I'm really not sure. I do have a new bearing for it. But anyway, let me show you how it works. Let's put the steering wheel pull. Okay, only got a couple seconds left, but look, lights on. Look at that. Look at that. Look, put the lights on, no change. Wiggle, wiggle it around, no change. This one, actually the right one's a little bit fast now. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's good. So that grease was making too much resistance. Too little resistance. Let the speedometer jump. That's it. I bought a new switch too. I have one on order. I should just cancel it. But maybe I'll keep it anyway.